Visual Studio Code is one of the most popular code editors. In this video, I want to give you some tips and tricks, mainly shortcuts, that boost your efficiency when working with VS Code. One of the most important features in VS Code is the command palette. It is opened with Shift Command P on Apple devices or Shift Control key on Windows devices. The command palette has two core features. By removing the default greater than sign, we can use the command palette to access our recently used project files or to search for specific project files in our current project. So instead of having to go through my explorer here and search for a specific file, I can just go to the command palette and search for the newsletter ts file and access this file quickly. The recently opened file is also displayed at the top. So switching between files is very easy with this command palette feature. When adding the greater than sign, the command palette now gives you full feature access to basically any feature VS Code ships with. The list of features is very broad. To give you some examples, you can access extension settings. You can also access git commands from the command palette. You can also access the user settings and you can also access the shortcuts menu. Inside this shortcuts menu, you can always find the command name and the corresponding key binding. So if I search for the command palette in here, I can't find this feature because it's named command palette, but actually in VS Code, it is referred to as show all commands, as it gives you access to all commands and all features in VS Code. Now, if you don't know the command name, you can also simply type the shortcut or the key binding in here. So by adding this key binding, you can find the command name you were looking for. If you are not happy with the default key binding, you can always update it inside this menu with this pen symbol. When removing the greater than sign from the command palette, we are able to switch between our project files. We can also directly access this feature with the go to file command. So if I use this key binding, I'm back again in the command prompt and I can switch to another project file. As you see, inside my recently opened files, we also find the keyboard shortcuts. So if we open specific features, specific sections in VS Code, these are also displayed here inside our go to file view. I guess everybody knows the default search function, command F that searches for specific content inside my currently opened file. Search find in files works differently. This shortcut, shift command F by default, searches for the content I'm referring to within all my project files in my current project. The feature becomes even better if I additionally open the replace function and in there, I'm now able to quickly change specific content throughout my entire project. File open recent default control R lets you quickly switch between your recently opened projects. On top, you always find the currently opened project, but then you can go through your list and quickly open this project you wanna go to. By reopening that feature, you are by default navigated to the second project in your list. With that, switching between two different projects you might be working on simultaneously works very fast and very efficiently. View Toggle Terminal opens and closes the integrated VS Code Terminal. The integrated terminal is very awesome because you can use it to run commands like npm install, or npm run dev to bring up your development server. And at the same time, you can open a second terminal where you run your git commands, for example. And then you can also switch between these two terminals. And once you're done, you close the terminal again with the shortcut we just had a look at. Toggle line comment, shift command seven by default, lets you comment out code. It works for single lines, but it can also be used for entire code blocks. Different file types require different ways to comment out code. So if I switch to a CSS file now, 
and do the same thing, you see VS Code changes the required code to comment out the code correctly. In case this might not work for a specific project file for you, you can always check out the extensions and search for a specific extension that supports commenting out code for your specific file type. Move line up or down, alt and up or down arrow key by default, lets you change the position of the currently selected line in your code. So by navigating to a line, I can move this line into the second paragraph, for example. And even better, if I select the entire content of this paragraph, I can move both lines. And of course, this logic is also working for entire elements here, which I can also reposition easily with this shortcut. You can also use the Alt key to mark the position in your code in different lines. You can do this with equal code like our paragraph here. So I select the different paragraph positions by holding the Alt key and now change these to a diff. But I can also do this in code sections that are not equal like here and there. And now simultaneously update this code section. Add selection to next find match, command D by default, selects the next occurrence of our current selection. So this is the shortcut to use if you want to find equal code sections to update these simultaneously. So by selecting the section element and using this shortcut, I can now select all sections in my file and replace these with a div, for example. So this helps to quickly find and replace equally named parts in my code. Once we updated our code, format document or shift alt f by default formats our entire file. A very simple but very important shortcut to bring back structure to our code. As we had it with commenting out code, in case you're working on a very special file type, specific code type, and auto formatting doesn't work, you can always check out the extensions in VS Code and look for a dedicated formatting extension to provide this feature for your specific file type.